Hello? You here? Alright, dope. Alright, let's get it guys. Aaron here. Aaron just pulled up. Now we're about to go. We're gonna go kick it. Yeah, so we're here, Corona Del Mar. Last night was uh, Robert Redeker versus Darren Till. What do you think of that those fights right there? Sick. The the rest of the card was okay, man. I mean, you got Nagier versus Shogun again, the third match, and then um, old old man's division, yeah. yeah. They're legends, but like they really need to. I don't want to see those guys fight anymore. No, it's just it's too technical, and they're heavyweights now, so you know they're sloppy and they're gassing out. So it's not as cool as it used to be. I mean, Shogun used to be like one of the baddest dudes. In the yeah, no, Shogun was the man back in the day. He was he's he was, he was John Jones. He was what John Jones was like when he was in Pride. He yeah, knocked, yeah. He, like, knocking everybody out, destroying everybody when he knocked out Lyoto Machida. Like, man, that was, Shogun was amazing, amazing kicks. But it's crazy to see, like, I don't like seeing these guys, like, their downfall, you know? Yeah, they that, gotta know when to get out. Yeah, I think, uh, I think with Robert Whitaker, for one, I'm super, super impressed with Whitaker because he, like, I relate to that dude a lot because he was talking about how, you know, he took a long break. Like, he was having all these back-to-back -back fights and then dealing with all this type of uh, different stuff going on. So he's just like, yeah, I'm going to take a break, you know? And I feel like as a fighter, like, sometimes you should take a break and, like, revamp yourself. Yeah. You know, it's very good to do that. So, like, for me, I haven't fought in, you know, uh, probably, like, a year, you know, since my last fight, almost. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I needed a fucking break, you know? So uh, it's very inspiring to see, like, Robert Ridiker come back off of his break and then come back and win, you know, and then beat Darren Till, even though it was like a draw pretty much, but like that was a good fight. I had big respect for both guys. What's his name? Usman said, he's like, look, am I gonna go in there and play Masvidal's game and try striking with him and lose? No, I'm gonna play my game and keep my belt. Why would I mess around and lose my belt? It's, mm. You know, I'm in this to win. And so it sucks because the UFC is weird. It's not like, it's kind of turning into like what boxing was where if you're not selling, you're not getting a title shot. And a guy like Usman who holds the belt, he's in a good predicament because, you know, he holds the belt. Everyone has to challenge him. For boring fighters who are coming up, it's hard for them to get title shots because yeah. no one wants to watch a guy get held up against a cage. Exactly. exactly. But if you already have the belt, you're already at the top. For him, it's like, oh, I've got I've got everything to lose and nothing to gain by being exciting. You know, I've, I got a good bag from Masvidal. I got, you know, what I want. But there's so much pressure on those guys to be exciting and be like, flamboyant and all this versus the guys who are efficient and need to do what they need to do to win. So I see both sides of that because like, uh, yeah, you need to win these fights, but there's like a way you could do it, right? So like, I feel like Khabib, for example, he goes in, he wrestles, he does what he needs to do to win, but he's very aggressive and he like puts guys away. I feel like with Usman, I mean, obviously you're fighting the best guys in the world. Like you're not always gonna, it's not always gonna be you know, a barn burner or whatever. So I may mean, understand both sides, but for I can only talk about myself. For myself as a fighter, going forward, I'm gonna try to just finish everybody I fight. No, like, uh, like I love wrestling, I love jujitsu, I love Muay Thai, but like going forward, I'm just gonna have a very, very different uh, approach to the game. You know, like. 
Well, and, you know, Dana White said it a couple times, like, you can't leave your fights up to these judges because, like, look at Holloway versus Volkanovski. I had Holloway winning that last because I had him winning one, two, and three, and then I had Volkanovski winning four and five. There's no bad decision with a knockout. Sometimes there is because there's bad stoppage with the ref. You know, Herb Dean with, like, you know, Lawler versus Askren. That was mm. a good one where he thought Robbie Lawler was out, but, like, MMA is just so volatile, man. You get kicked in the head. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you're unconscious or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like maybe a couple years ago, <laughs> it was before I like uh, went pro. A couple years ago, me and um, me and like it was like New Year's, right? And me and my bros we were just uh, chilling at my friend's house, and uh, uh, his dad got a couple drinks in him, and he knew like I was doing jujitsu, like winning these tournaments and stuff, and uh, he like wanted to test it. Cause yeah. he like he got that liquid courage in him, so he wanted <laughs> to test courage. it, yeah. And uh, basically, you know, he he really thought that he was gonna be able to like put a choke on me or whatever. That is like a very weird thing. Like people get this like false confidence because they watch MMA or whatever, or they watch you know sports, and uh, and they feel like they can just do it, you know. That dude basically, he uh, he he like tried to take me down or something, and I I just like very easily sprawled on him and I, I put him down like a baby took his back and I let him know I could put the choke on him. I put a little tight squeeze, little, a little squeeze on him just to let him know like, hey, I could, I could, you know, but I'm not going to. Yeah. I've been in like the friendly scraps where like you're messing around with your boys or like in middle school, you know, everyone else proves they're tough so they're fighting. I've been in like friendly scraps, but like, I, I'm pretty lucky to say I haven't, I haven't been in like a legit street fight where I'm in a bar and a dude is starting something. I'm. We should do a good job of de-escalating that. Yeah. You know, I just tell people, I'm like, look, it's not worth it. One of us is going to get hurt. One of us is going to press charges. It's not worth it. You're going to get banned from a bar. Someone's going to, it's just, it's not worth it, man. Yeah. There's a lot of guys that I can mess up in this world. There's a lot of guys that can mess me up in this world. Yeah, yeah, facts, yeah. And it, exactly. it balances it out, man. It's exactly. Like, it's like. Oh, hold on, hold on, one second. Let me, let me just make sure that my abs are still there and make sure they, they get that in there real quick. <laughs> you never fight, you never find out. Like I tell people, I'm like, I don't want to find out if, I, if you can kick my ass or not. <laughs> I don't. And I don't want to find out if I can bounce my shin off your face. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, it's just not worth it. What do you gain? What do I gain? What's up, Kurt? Hey, what up, Pete? We're filming a vlog right now. What's up? Yeah, I've got a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm on camera right now. I'll call you later. Right, I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I'm on. I'm, on, I'm mic'd up right now. I'm on camera. So I don't, yeah, I don't want you to say anything crazy. All right, all right. See you. <laughs> Vince. Vince Manny, good yeah, to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah, this is my friend Brittany. Hi, Hi Brittany. Brittany. She's, a, she's in PR, so. Oh, sweet. When you beat the shit out of someone and you need a PR. Uh, oh, that's what we were just talking about not doing. Yeah. yeah. Not no, fighting no, people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. I get paid to fight, so I don't. You're a lawyer, man. I yeah. got you, dude. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm calling you, man. I'm going to come watch your fights, dude. Okay. We're local, too. We train out of Orange, yeah, train out of Orange County. Okay. Yeah, we, like, we live in Costa Mesa, so we're. That's where we're, it is. We're trying yeah. American Gym. Thank you. I'm gonna do uh, Apple, Apple Pay. You, you have a spoon? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bag? No. You got a spoon though? Right. We got our nutritious meal for the day. Some mint chocolate cookie, Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> so yeah, there we have it. Bikes. Fast cars. Chilling. Ice cream. It's a successful weekend, right? What do you, what do you think? Good way to chill. Show people that like fighters don't just fight. There's regular people, like everybody else in the world, they do other things. Today was like a rest and retreat day. Chill day. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And uh, also 
let me know who you think is going to win the fight between um, between uh, Adesanya? Uh, Israel Adesanya and Paulo Costa. I'm very curious to hear your guys' take on that. Drop a comment below, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.